Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today is Free Play Friday! And uh, for Free to Play today, we're going to play a little bit of Crossout. Now, Crossout is a vehicular manslaughter game of violence, where vehicles just smash, craft, and destroy each other. So destroy. essentially, um, it reminds me a lot of the modifiable cars in Mad Max. I was thinking more of the whole Toasted Metal sort of scene, but yeah, but Mad Max was, I think... Twisted Metal didn't really do customized cars, but it was character-specific cars yeah. more than anything else. But Mad Max definitely did remind me about how long it had been since you played something like Twisted Metal or anything like we that. We smashed up a bunch of cars. In fact, we played really, we played the most recent Twisted Metal on PS3, me and uh, James, on a previous episode very recently. It was good fun. It was good fun. We got He got his, he got annoyed because I was kicking his ass, but he enjoyed it. It was a good fun game between the two of us. I loved Mad Max. That was a brilliant game. This is Repet really... Repetitive as hell, but I still enjoyed playing it. This is actually really looking Mad Maxy, actually, to be honest. Oh, inspiration. I imagine it would have been at some point. This, this, this is the crafting stage, I see. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. It was, sorry, no, that's the writing. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, no, that's the destroying. So we've done the writing, we've done the crafting, and then it's on to the destroy. Yes. <laughs> it really does feel like, you know, that cutscene that you did watch in Mad Max, where he actually is building the cars, you know, like, just in the garage with, uh, what was the name of the the, the mutant? That... Uh, Chum Bucket. Chum Bucket, yeah. Unless those are, that's a sexy cannon, to, to be I honest. I had to choose my word carefully there, try and remember that. Okay, cum bucket, you mean? Alright, don't worry, we're not advertiser friendly on this channel, ever. That's the reason why we don't make the big bucks. Suddenly, an incredibly clean engine on the hub, get very clean. Hey, you would take that engine apart and clean it down to make sure you get the maximum horsepower out of it. The car, the engine is going to be the cleanest part of that damn thing. Cleaner than the person driving it, I'm sure. Very impressed with that. <laughs> Oh, the fact he went to the bother to put RGB lights into his mask as well. Fantastic, good choice. Yeah, man, RGB and LED lights, always the right thing to go with. Good creep, is that actually a tank? Well, at least driving into the dust now, it's gonna really hit one. Oh, well, yeah, well, we're not too concerned about that. That looks kind of impressive, I actually like it. Well, admittedly, that trough at the front of it looks like it's gonna hit one divot of dirt and just launch itself over, and over top of itself. So yeah, Crossout appears to be a... Oh, well, it, just, it appears to be a Mad Max simulator. <laughs> <Like> boom, boom. <laughs> it's boom, boom, vroom. <laughs> That's what we're actually playing. They get ourselves logged in here. Obviously, we're going to be starting from absolute scratch, and this is a free-to-play game, so there's a lot of packs, a lot of content that have already been released for this. I think, what, what do we know? It was 12 or 20? It said 12 in the yeah. store. There appear to be 12 packs already available for this game, and I don't think they're actually... Um, they're, they're not going to slow down their content release for this anytime soon. What is I this? I read that. That is tiny. Even like even like for you guys, it's tiny on that screen. For us, it's just as bad. I just assume it, it, it's a patchy note, essentially, as far as I know. So, do you know what this reminds me of a lot? Actually, the layout of the main screen. You ever played uh, World of Tanks? No. Okay, so this menu well, screen. I, there's a lot of nose coming out of me from games. Yeah, the, I really should play more games. You should probably play more games. <laughs> you want to be a game dev, right? <laughs> The um, World of Tanks actually has this very similar UI where you're actually going from garage factions, although admittedly, pretty much uh, even like that Star Forge game I showed you or chatted about earlier on, oh, yeah. they all have this kind of like, similar like menu screen. I suppose it's actually almost like generic UI for free to play game. Shows you someone to look at, you can quickly go through. If you just press square, you just go straight. Yeah, it's pretty much only letting this only thing I can do. I'm sure it's actually because you, you have to give you practice and let you get it started first because the uh, first mission you ever go into, you're, ne you're not going to be thrown right into the the fray. And if this game is like World of Tanks, there's a reason why, because once you're dead, you have to wait for your car to respawn. So you could be waiting for 10 yeah. minutes before your next car gets released. So this is actually just leading you off in every single place to wander around. So uh, imagine if this is actually a battle arena. There's actually like 4v4, 6v6 and larger teams. Uh, what, did, what did we see? It was 7? Was it 6? 3 on either side of him and then him driving whenever it showed in the intro? There was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three on either side, I think. So it would be seven card. So, like, a, a, a guessing just by the fact that you know, they're doing their videos where they actually wouldn't lie to you, there's at least seven v seven or seven as a group in this. Ooh, I got guns. Yep, you got guns. Is it telling you to shoot anything? Because I think you just drove past a target. Oh, did I? Yeah, there's a car right there. Oh, there she is. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, ticking damage. So, it essentially is a MMO esque kind of drive and shoot em game. So, I suppose, like, the driving segment's a bit of Borderlands as well as involved in this. But, um, the, actually, uh, the game looks gorgeous. The, uh, the, the mapping on the actual cliff sides and stuff looks really, really good. Vehicles don't look bad, although I'm basically boxy, which I imagine is per, by design so they're easy to fit all of the implements and bits and pieces onto as well. It's handbrake action there. <laughs> <laughs> 
we have him going for a test drive. Well, it's also, oh, you're knocking bits off of him as well, which means, like, yes. so there's tactical shooting to parts of the vehicle to actually slow them down from escaping, so you can take out the wheels, and oh, there's... Like just aim for the wheels. He's not going to go anywhere. Oh, oh, yeah, there he goes. Like, once he took the wheels off, pretty much he's probably got no armor left. So that makes sense. Uh, hostiles won't stand still, obviously. Anymore? Oh, there, there. Oh. Lost connection oh, to the server? Uh, try it back in again. There must have been a problem there. That should have happened. Uh, that was that was fun though. So I was enjoying that. <laughs> well, we'll go back and you'll have to get. Do you know what? Because you didn't finish it, you'll have to start it again as well. So you'll enjoy it all over again. And I'll try and vamp over the material while we do that because that's not a great thing. Um, unstable connection. I imagine maybe just their servers having issues at this time in the morning, maybe, or my connection's starting to die. So maybe choosing to play online games at this point is probably not a great idea at the early hours of the morning. Can't connect the server. Works. Yeah, so network features for this application are unavailable. <laughs> oh, why? Why, that Internet? Why on these days? Such taste. So basically, from what you could see, um, what you got to see of Crossout Craft, Right and Destroy. I certainly enjoyed it. Which was an intro and a three minutes of gameplay in the practice mode without any combat against another player. Press X again there to see if it actually will try and let you in. Yeah, it's just... Probably close it down and start up again. We'll, we'll, give it a, we'll give it a second try because I don't want to actually... Disregarding him that quickly. In fact, your controller's about to go as well. Uh, did I have to drop it, didn't I? Uh, there you go. Pass me that one to charge. Do 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 do. Yeah. Pop up someone saying that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so the um the biggest problem that I actually have with online games, uh, with my connection being here, because we have a uh, ton. Uh, what do we do? Not ton. We have um. Heavy um, control over our connections after, like, at anti-social hours. I think part and parcel of that is actually because of uh, people just downloading butt tons of movies and piracy at the early hours of the morning. So they actually like level down the amount that you can actually like play through on in the early hours of the morning. Did you log back in again? Okay, to the car. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just gotta wait for see what happens. Yeah, at least it's letting you in this time again. So cross out um, Mad Max Simulator 2017. With basic vehicles, uh, basic uh, accoutrements and weapons that you have to start off with, I imagine that the actual store and weapon supplies allow you to make a large selection of high caliber guns to low caliber guns, trade offs in engine speed and durability, uh, armor plating, which will slow down your character and change your uh, turning circle and stuff. That literally, it just allows you to build your own tank, from what I could I'm see in that opening intro. I'm starting to be reminded of Rage a wee bit. Rage? Yeah, I don't know where it is. I think it's maybe. Just... I never actually played Rage. Well, but Rage was like that. It was a really hyped shoot 'em up, wasn't it? Yeah, it's sort of. I think it tried to be sort of too much at once. It was kind of like Fallout, but with cars. <laughs> oh, all right. But the vehicular section of it was fun. So this is kind of reminding me of it a bit. So essentially, like it, it's like dropped a little bit out of it and just kind of focused on the vehicles. Yeah, if it, if it just focused on that one aspect instead of trying to be the whole first-person shooter thing, it would have been such a better game. The, it's the same feeling that, like I said, I got the feeling that this was kind of reminding me of World of Tanks, but a lot, much faster paced, which is the biggest problem I have with World of Tanks, is that tanks don't move that goddamn fast. And more, it's once like, it literally it's more like, once you spot somebody on the horizon, then you start trading shots from a long distance. I do like being able to just target specific parts, just get the wheel off you, there you <laughs> And leave him driving in a circle so he can only shoot in a straight line. Yeah, boom. So how do you find in the actual, like, uh, shooting controls? Like, what, is it essentially right stick look, left stick turn? Yeah, pretty much. And just adapt it, really. What? And then we get some pretty sweet swerves. Oh, victory. <laughs> victory of battle. So we'll get to see at least a victory screen now. We did Did we just get disconnected again? Gonna happen. You are your son of a bitch. Yeah. That's it. It's allowing you to actually now, allow you to go factions. through the different menus so you can check out the factions. Ooh. So I'm assuming with factions you end up getting specific things. Oh. Uh, manufacturers, engineers. They're all, they're all locked. But we've got Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf was in... Didn't he sing... What did he sing? Well, Steppenwolf was also the name of the character from Ju the villain that's going to be showing up in Justice League. Yes. Uh, the son Steppenwolf. of Darkseid is Steppenwolf, <laughs> isn't it? It's also a band as well. But anyway, we've only got the engineers at the minute. Yeah, so it's essentially telling you what you can do, so you can they manufacture yeah. materials. So that, ah, there we go. So essentially it's telling you to build armor and build parts that you can actually throw on. So avoid decors and build everything else. Yes. Alright. Um, yeah, there you go. Looks like a lot of detail to try and, and see. Then get there. There's actually the credits, so you can use credits to f accelerate it. Yeah. And then you only have so many credits you can spend. So you have to hit retrieve. There you go. Upgraded machine guns. Dun, dun, dun. Right. 
What? No, you don't want to sell it now? I was, I was hoping that was an option. <laughs> no, circle to close the time because if you trade it, you'll probably lose it. Uh, uh, so it's actually just showing you to run through the steps for the actual building. Pick apart. It's quite. Uh... And then mount it. There we go. So it seems to be just like snap fit model kits that you can just throw onto anything now. That's quite a lot to take in for a menu system, all kinds of customization there. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, they're they're walking you through the first steps, and then obviously you get more materials for actually going being around for more days in a row. I'd, I'd say that's quite a lot, but we've only this is only the tip of it. Yeah, tip of t tip of the metallic rusted iceberg, sir. Yeah, Choosing difficulty? Ah, there you go. When it said seasonal, I was picturing something else entirely. Yeah, I know. Like, that's actually like they're you know like uh, missions that you have to work through. So obviously there's a market, there's storage, there's shop, exhibition, and season. So the season's like the big events for the that you're meant to be going throughout the year with. You know, like it's telling you like do this, get this many things, then you can move on to the next thing, and you can move on to the next thing. Start this? No. Yeah, it's like saying there you select it. And then it's telling you there's three days left and you have to oh. do something like, what is it, current mission, 0, 15, destroy 15 players. So you have to defeat yeah, 15 yeah. players, then pick up a reward, then on the next step, right, and next step. active right now. Each one of those will have one that you're all doing at the same time. Start battling, I want to get back into it. So this feels like it actually isn't really, it, it feels like it's actually a single player RPG MMO rather than actually being... Online? Is this like, alright, so have we got online people just showing up we're, here now? We're online right now. Well, I don't right. know if these are bots or who. They don't seem to be bots. Well, the naming the naming conventions, because bots yeah. naming conventions tend to be a lot more simple. So we've actually got multiplayers online, so I recommend traveling with a Pac-Man, because they probably know where the fuck they're going. Yeah, I, I'm worried about letting them down. <laughs> so you're just going to drive off in the middle of nowhere and then see new enemies know. and then get shot and killed? Well, I don't know what's going there, but I'm starting yeah, to lose Yeah, red ones. Of it. Time to kill. You got three guns. You aim them all in their uh, faces. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Ah, uh, this is intense. Uh, it's the beginning. <laughs> the worst of it is trying not to overheat the guns here. And get. Ah, he's back. <laughs> Kill assist. <laughs> I have no idea who it was I was no, shooting at. No one assist me, I'm solo. <laughs> Just aim, aiming for the wheels is what I always do. I uh, with three guns, I'm willing to bet you probably take those wheels off pretty quick. <laughs> Looping around you. Um, he's still alive. Yeah, but he's not going anywhere. Oh no, he's trying. Yeah, he's trying to leave. <laughs> oh, they're 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 way, they're on, way on ahead. Yeah, they, they, guys... it's because they like they didn't stop to watch one guy die. Oh well, it was getting personal for me. <laughs> And the victory! Hey, so I'm assuming the actual it's almost like a PVE thing then, rather than actually PVP. Yeah, I'm sorry, there must be a PVP nice. function, but this looks like it's a, this I could really get into actually. Because I, I really lost a bunch of time to Starforge because it was actually like, it was an online RPG you just wandered in, killed a bunch of guys and moved on to. So if you're doing a lot of PvE stuff, um, I could really get into this because essentially it'd be, a, it'd be Mad Max, but in a group. You'd actually be part of the Raiders instead of actually like max out on your own. I, mean, I could get on board with this. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really interested now. I was like, mildly interested. I was like, first, you had, first you had my interest, now you have my attention. Crank down there. Want to give it a go? Yes, if you don't mind. Uh, accelerate. And shoot. Uh, R2 accelerate, L1 shoot, and L2 Sweet. brake, X is your handbrake. Basic enough, so you can just jump in. Sweet! That looks like an inactive player behind you, he's probably just gonna stay there. <laughs> More now he's coming with. Is it four to a side there? Wow, that is actually, know, it's a know. really, really quick turning circle in that. Yeah, I'm wondering if that might be the terrain or something, because I noticed that started skidding about a wee bit. It's slidey. There you go. Don't know who the blue shooting at. How many, how many have we got to the team there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh! I don't think it's actually like, I don't think it's player versus, uh, I think it's player versus computer rather than actually player versus player. Yeah, because all the names are just Nicky. Nicky yeah. Stanius. Surely I would assume the name Frank would be taken in terms of gamer tags. <laughs> yeah, it's true. God damn it. I always want to call myself Frank. Oh, you lost your wheel. Oh shit, did I? Yeah, I think you did. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and I think I crashed into them a couple times. Yep, I've lost my front drive for real. Oh god, it's oh, it gets you so bogged down. That's terrible. Never surrender. <laughs> there goes his, his wheel now. Anyway, Can I pick that one up to replace it. <laughs> just get, just hop out. And... Yeah, yeah, it's just like jump book. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm like a turtle. Oh no. Uh, you can sell shit though. <laughs> and you get a new one. <laughs> it was fine. I survived like a turtle. <laughs> Alright, so do I, I'm assuming I actually get my tire back as well, don't I? I would hope so. 
That's okay. So essentially, as we were working through daily missions, um, for every mana, so they, like I said, you destroy 50 players. So obviously that's actually applying if we had been playing in PvP. So that's the reason why we need to change seasonal goal from that one to actually one that's probably against PvE. I would be tempted to start getting into this, but I would worry the amount of time I'd invest only to find out I've enjoyed it for an hour or so. What I need to do 20 hours just to upgrade my tires or something. That's what ends up happening with, um, I suppose, uh, I mean, this is actually like online RPGs that are actually like money based. That's always going to be the case. Where are they going? All right, they're way that way. Hang on, I better go with my team. Over hill and over dale, always on the dusty trail. Hi ho, and I can't tear the circle. Much of a difference. I like that guy's car. Look at that. He's repainted it, giving it a little bit of a wider wheelbase. Obviously, it's a little bit more balanced. Look, is that a radar jammer on the back, even? I, th I, oh, I, thought, awesome. he had, I thought he had his mate up there. To... He may have somebody on the vehicle as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's one down. Yeah, going to the deep end. Well, he's pretty tanked up, but he's gone. He's gone. There's like three of us fucking aiming at him in all ones. Uh, bots again. Yeah, I don't think there's actually any uh, friendly fire in this, so I was just going to keep hammering. Boom! Friendly fire. I was like, you oh, oh, I feel so good. Oh, it's kind of nice to actually be like a tank wall of people just sitting still, just aiming at these guys. It's like you just yeah. kind of, you pull up to something and go like, and you're dead, and you're dead, and you're dead. Very sporting. <laughs> They're bots, man. Who cares? Flawless victory. Perfect. Yeah, I'm actually getting into this. Uh, and then we're level two. Way. That's how quickly you actually level up. So the new parts in the guard. So we can upgrade now. So you like, go to return to the guard and see if we yeah, actually want to see stuff we have. What we got. So cool. Um, rewards there. That was reasonably fast to get level one to level two. That was what three missions, all good and grand. Imagine there's actually a lot more stuff. Isotope two thirty nine, van side. So yeah. So essentially, like, all the bits and pieces of actually making a new car type. Cool. It's kind of gonna lean into really yeah. Engineers thing. are not just missions, rewards, and fireside chats. We're also let you build new parts from scrap using benches. If you can't find the right part in battle, why not produce it yourself? So essentially, if you repeat missions, you get different loot drops, I suppose, as well. So you actually get the parts and pieces that you need to upgrade things. But yeah, go to build. And then there's test drive as well, if you want to look at stuff. That is a lot of details for things you can actually do with it. Yeah, so... What, what can I do? Disassemble vehicle. <laughs> Alright, I didn't mean to ask. <laughs> so you oh, literally, no, you you literally individually pull each part from the axles, from the wheels, from the body, and then just replace them with whatever else that you have. That's kind of cool. Oh, actually, what, for real depth what? and stuff? I took a tire. I took it off. I didn't yeah, even... you took it off. Put it back. Yeah. Um, so each one of those is essentially the same as if you're equipping gear in an RPG, so you actually have every single part. This is fucking detailed and interesting, man. No parts left in storage. All right. So it's a lot of instructions to take in. Like, look at that bar. Yeah, rotate X, rotate Y. I mean, essentially, it's the same as if you're learning how to make a gummy ship in Kingdom Hearts. You're going like, why do I need to know all this? I'm only going to use it between missions. But this is actually the main part of the game, so I suppose mechanically learning how the best vehicles work together is their, your next step, really. You ever played um, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts? No. That was yeah. a bit that, of a letdown, I heard. Was that it? was a complete another letdown, but it had a very, very in-depth vehicle just a building tool. <laughs> that was the majority of the game was building vehicles in it. But yeah, so cross, uh, cross out, craft, ride, and destroy. Highly recommend it for people to check out. That was actually quite an enjoyable play. Oh, even the backgrounds are really, really nice. I actually liked the world that this is actually taking place in. Gonna go kill a few bots here. How much you go and join and kill a few bots? I'll just do the the outro of the game. We're gonna be playing this for another wee while anyway. So yeah, yeah um, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you actually been enjoying us playing Crossout uh, and talking about it and actually like getting into it, come and join us. Come and join us in the game. Uh, Past each of Durham UK is actually my main account. You know, of course, add us and actually check us out here on the channel and come and join us in a large group. If you enjoy Crossout and you have a couple of tips for us, anything of major interest, some recommendations, even videos that you recommend yourselves, make sure to throw them in the chat underneath and into the comments below. And, uh, wow, that was fast. <laughs> and, if, said, and if you want to actually do subscribe to the channel and actually see more stuff like this on a regular basis, where we look at free play games every Friday, we look at uh, Asian games that are actually not released over here every Saturday, we look at Artifacts Monday games every Monday on the occasion that ones are released, which happens way too often. You can always hit the subscribe button up here in the corner. And if you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand, not everybody does, memorize this name down here, Pastiche of Skin. All you have to do is Google for it, look for Pastiche of Skin, and you can find me. I am not trying to hide. I'm right there wherever you need me. So I'll see you guys really soon. Oh, wait, actually, completely forgot. If you're watching on YouTube, 
there'll be a button up there to hit. Uh, that'll be the subscribe button. Over here will actually be a playlist. Over the top of your head. Over in the far corner will be the most recent episode. And right here will be an episode for you based on your YouTube analytics and your views and your things and whatever you do on YouTube. I don't know what you look for, but whatever you look for will be analyzed and the video here will be based on what I make and will be the one thing that you will like the most. So I highly recommend you check it out. So make sure to click the button right there and enjoy the video. And I want to say to you guys, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see all you dudes in the next free-to-play game. Bye.